welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I have a question from Dave today. Dave's question is, Dear Cyber Sue, how do I stop my girlfriend from being so clingy? I love her, I've been with her for two years, but I feel like I can't breathe around her sometimes. I used to be flattered that she loved me so much and she didn't like being away from me, but now it's becoming a big turn off. How do I get her to understand that I need some alone time each week? Well, Dave, one thing that I can say here is that you're going to have to change things up a little more gently with her. Now that it's gone on for two years, you've got yourself in kind of a bit of a situation here because she's going to be offended when you stop, you know, start pulling away from her. So you have to do it on a, on a soft note with her. Tell her that you just need to have a little bit of time for you to be alone. It's not like you're looking to go out with a bunch of guys and do all this stuff and hang out at bars and things like that, but you want some time just for yourself. Now you say that you still love her, so that's, a, that's good. Obviously she hasn't pushed you that far away yet, but be honest with her and tell her that sometimes you just feel like you need a little alone time without having to answer to anybody. And that she also needs to have some time away from you. You need to have space so that you appreciate each other. This is a given in any relationship. It's not just because you're writing me. This is something that myself, I would have to have in my partnership. I can't be with somebody 24 seven. And it's not healthy because if you start giving up everything for your partner, you end up in a situation that makes you sort of like, you know, just a couple and there's not an individual part of yourself anymore. You need to hold on to that. So share that with her too. Just tell her that that's something that if you want to be together for a long time and have this, this committed relationship together, that you really do need to spend quality time with a few of your friends or some alone time for your hobbies, for whatever it is that you want to do. Don't come in all guns a blazing and get wait till the Till you're so pissed off that you can't take it anymore and then tell her in an angry tone. You want to sit down gently with her, have a glass of wine, you know, go out for a date night and just say, you know, I really miss doing this. When I, before I met you, I was involved in uh, a hockey team. I was a baseball player. I, I did a lot of hiking by myself. And I really miss that and I would like to bring that back in again. And it's not because I don't want to be with you, but I want to be able to be a complete person with myself as well. That way you have more to give to her. You've got more to talk about. You've had space away from each other. Having space away from your partner is a good thing because when you come back together, you're first of all, you're excited to see each other. Second of all, you've got other things to talk about other than just the, you know, what's going on within you as a couple at home. So that's my best suggestion for you, Dave. I think that will really help. It doesn't have to be complicated. You don't have to be mean. And I suggest you do it sooner than later because one day you might just blow. You might just say, oh my God, I can't take this anymore. I so, feel so suffocated. So tell her before it gets too, too annoying towards you. And I'm sure you guys can work it out. If she doesn't understand it after that, then you're going to have a problem, unfortunately. She could just be a real clingy type that doesn't like having her own friends and going and doing things. But this could make it make her go and start doing these things. So try it. Tell her that you just do it for once a week to start with and then move it up for a couple times a week. And then see how that goes. Thank you so much for your question, Dave. Please leave your comments below the video. Subscribe to my channel here at Dear Cyber Sue. And uh, like the video. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.